We love him. We love him. Award-winning Canadian actor Eric McCormack will be starring in a virtual reading for his latest project, Will, which will help to support creatives in need during this difficult time. He joins us today live from beautiful BC to talk about the event and how he is raising money for the Actors Fund and Actors Fund of Canada. Good morning, Eric. Beautiful backdrop, my friend. That was, thank you. This was... Uh... We built this backdrop about 12 years ago, and uh, this is this when we whenever we can get out of LA, this is this is home. I love that you always stay true to your Canadian roots. I know you have family here too, so good morning mm -hmm. to them. Let's talk about this. Will people are thinking, oh my gosh, something to do with Will and Grace? Not that Will, another Will. <laughs> it looks it looks like I just took the character and lopped <laughs> off an L because they were going to sue me or something. Um, this is uh, the Will of this uh, title is uh, Will Shakespeare. This is a an unpublished screenplay uh, by Dan Rosen, really funny. And uh, we are reading it, uh, a bunch of uh, fantastic no actors well, from Denmark, London, from L.A., from New York, from uh, Toronto and Vancouver, uh, reading it to raise money for our fellow actors and artists in the Actors Fund. Okay, so let's talk about the fact that you play an agent. They always get a bad yes. rap. You know this. You have many. How does it feel being able to cathartically play one now in the satire that you described like a Princess Bride, which was, is one of my favorite movies of all time? So it's got that yeah, sort it's, of... It's, it's sort of... It's Shakespeare in love via the Princess Bride with a little Mel Brooks thrown in it. Nice. It's very silly and uh, set in Shakespeare's time, but he's got an agent named Bernie Shylock from New York, apparently, because this is how I play it. And... Uh, in fact, at one point, I, uh, you know, a phone call comes in, but they didn't have phones back then. So a carrier pigeon lands on Bernie's shoulder, and he says, "I, I got to take this. Sorry." <laughs> and it's it's that it's that level of silly, and it's really funny. And we, as as everyone's been doing for a year, read it in separate cities on Zoom. But um, wow. uh, Sarah, uh, who produced the show, has really tried to make it look. Incredible, uh, and 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 not just like another Zoom meeting. So it's going to be a real fun couple of hours, and um, you can tune in for free. But we'd rather you tune in and, and contribute some money to the Actors Fund. This year, of course, the Actors Fund is there for actors in need anytime over the course of the last decades. But never has there been a year where so many people were in in such need. With Broadway shutting down and, and television film production shutting down. So this is a big one. They they put they doled out 10 times the amount of money they would normally. So we're trying to fill the coffers a bit. And that's the thing, Eric, you always hear about starving artists and people think, well, once you reach a certain level, they're OK, they're good. No, no, no. This literally helps them pay rent uh, and buy groceries. Like that's where a lot of people are at at this point. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there are so many people um, that, in both film and television, and particularly in the, in the theater, that are are living week to week, show to show, and uh, everything shuts down, and people stop going to the theaters, and a lot of people are in trouble. Mm -hmm. Why was it so important for you to take part in this? Not only because you get to flex those skills that you're missing out on, but to work with all these talented people and to give back in this way. Well, I think, you know, one tries always to give back, but uh, during this particular uh, year, you, you feel powerless. Everybody feels mm -hmm. powerless in their home. And so what little we can do, um, and it worked for a while. It was really easy for a while because nobody knew what Zoom was. And it's like, hey, I can watch actors on Zoom. Now you really got to work a little harder and present something a little more, a little more fun. And uh, what was really exciting for me about this, first of all, the call came from Sarah Botsford. My first television outside of Str when I did Stratford years, 30 years ago, cool. was uh, an episode of ENG. So 30 years later, her Sarah, the star of ENG, calls me up and says, want to do some stuff with some old friends. And in this case, the old friends are Colin Fiore and Lucy Peacock and Garrett Wynn Davies and all these people I was in Stratford with when I was just a kid. And they were kind of the stars of the place. So uh, to be back, even even though it was just on screen, but to be back with them and and doing some some Shakespeare was pretty fun. And look at you all now, say, you don't age. I don't know what your secret is. I don't know if it's the mountain air, whatever it is, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you for entertaining us this way and you have such a huge heart. The production, Will, check it out. From March 19th, that's this Friday, to the March 23rd, it's a short run. Tickets available at www, who says www anymore? I do. No. Triple W. <laughs> 
<laughs> much ado about wheel.com. Who art thou? Who says www? We love you. Come back when you can. It's safe too. to do so in studio, Eric. Love to you and your family, okay? Wilson. This is awesome. See you soon. See you Thanks, soon. Thanks, everybody. Coming up tomorrow, it's St. Patty's Day. Get your green on, friends. We've got a big show planned. Uh, we go live from uh, Ireland, actually, with some oyster shucking. I'm glad I read that right. Also tomorrow, top of the moving in the morning to ya. We will be dancing a traditional Irish jig. Oh, Sid. This has hashtag dancing Sid written all over it. All over it. <laughs>